Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my very first fashion -y video. <laughs> I'm going to do the fashion confidential tag. I think I was tagged like years ago. Never got around to doing it, but now I'm doing it and it feels so strange to be standing up and recording a video. I'm usually sitting down on my bed. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about stuff in my closet. The very first question is, what is the oldest item in your closet? And the oldest item in my closet is this Levi's jean jacket that I have here. I've had this, I believe, since middle school or high school. It still fits really well. I didn't used to like it at first just because it is a little bit more like like a warmer tone of denim. But now <laughs> I really like it. It has a boxy fit. It's just very comfortable. I really like jean jackets and this one's just so old and I like that it's old. So question number two, what is the newest item? The two newest pieces in my closet are two really basic shirts from the French brand, the couples. <laughs> so we have one that's sleeveless, one that has sleeves. Both of them are just very lightweight and perfect for the summer here in San Diego. And these two tops have the same zipper detail on the back. They're just very simple tops. I'm a very basic person, so when I saw these and I saw the price, I had to pick them up. Question number three, what is the most expensive item? My most expensive is definitely this handbag from Madewell. It is leather. I believe this is the Glasgow handbag. If I got it wrong, I will correct myself in the information bar, but it's just leather. It fits my, <laughs> my DSLR, fits my lenses, I can put my, my iPad in here, so it just fits everything I need whenever I'm a, like a blogger event or something and plus it has a really nice strap here so it's perfect because once I add all those things the bag is really heavy so I like that it has a really thick shoulder strap and it's just it's really nice it's really nice quality question number four what is the biggest bang for your buck for that question the biggest bang for my buck was definitely this blazer from H&M I believe I got this for $25 or maybe $20. I don't remember. I got it in a sale. It is just so perfect. It's like it's loose fitting, very structured. And I like that the shoulders are a little bit like they have like a drop shoulder type of effect. And this just looks like it's definitely worth more than $20. Question number five, what was the biggest bargain? My biggest bargain is by far <laughs> this shirt here. I got this at Buffalo Exchange for a buck. They were having an Earth Day sale. They had boxes of shirts and stuff for like $1. And then this one caught my eye. It's nothing special. It's just a men's like button down shirt but I love the color and I just saw so much potential with this and I'm glad I picked it up. I mean, it was only $1 and I've used it quite a lot, especially recently. So yeah, it's just one of those really laid back, slouchy, <laughs> button down t-shirts, but the color is what makes it special. Question number six, what's an item in your closet that everyone hates but you love? I love very like men inspired shoes. I just love loafers and oxfords and just I just really love that type of like shoe. My parents hate it. <laughs> they hate my shoes and these are by far one of the ones that they hate the most. Look at them, they're loafers, they're pointed shoes. I got these um, at Target actually. And I have a few more, I have like Doc Martens and all my shoes are basically flat. I don't wear heels. And these ones definitely look like men's shoes and I like it. So they hate them, I love them, and I'm going to continue purchasing shoes that everyone in my family hates. Question number seven, what was the biggest waste of money? I don't own anything that's a waste of money nowadays since I am doing a capsule wardrobe. I just have a very small closet and I make sure I don't get anything that I'm going to regret or not enjoy. So everything in my closet are things that I wear often, things that I love and bring me joy. So there's nothing for question number seven. <laughs> and last but not least, question number eight. Show us your three favorite items right now. One of my favorite items right now was purchased this past weekend. It's this hat from H&M. It was, I believe, like $17, so quite a deal. And I just like hats, especially since it's so sunny here in San Diego. I just like covering my face. <laughs> I don't want to get any more sunburns. Another one that I really love at the moment is this skirt, this midi skirt from Target. It's from the Who What Wear collection. This is just... I never liked skirts, but when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up. And I'm so glad I did because midi is just 
are very flattering on my body type and they also don't show a lot of skin which I appreciate and I just like the pattern I don't have too many things with patterns in my closet so this is just one of those very it's kind of like a neutral of patterns like I can wear it with any top or like any I can put a jean jacket over it it's just very versatile so I really love this piece and the last piece I have here to show you is a top by cause cause is one of my favorite stores they have really great sales and I love their pieces just because they're very loose and like structured and very minimal as you can see I have two of these tops this is the navy blue one and I also have one in black they're just my favorite I wear them all the time they have such a loose silhouette you can also tuck it in inside your jeans I've worn it with this skirt before so they're just very versatile pieces once again whenever I purchase something I have to envision at least three outfits and with this I've worn it so many different ways so that's it for my closet confidential tag I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about my capsule wardrobe or any of the pieces that you saw in this video please let me know in the comments below I will also try to link pieces that are currently available a lot of them have been purchased maybe like years ago so I don't think they will be available but I will try my best to find things that are similar to the things that I showed you in this video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you're brand new don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking right over here and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye and when I do kind of like a side part like this it kind of gives the haircut a little bit of a like asymmetrical look so this side looks a little bit longer than this side and I can like tuck my hair back a little 